Or after 17 years, I finally returned to the place I'd once called home. There was a small army of famished outlaws hiding in the surrounding woods waiting for my signal to attack. Led by my vengeful brother, Richard. But I had to be sure that Elizabeth was safe. The poor girl who in my stead had been doomed to become William Hamley's wife. Get in line and stay in line. You'll all get your chance to pay your dues to Lord Hamley, you hear? So no pushing. Why does Lord Hamley need all that food? He's got more than enough. Shut it, woman. Smear your face with dung and lower your head. It's the only way you get out of here alive. It's no coincidence that Hamley always asks for women to bring the tributes. Oh, shut up! Patience, patience. Everyone will get a chance to pay their dues to Lord Hamley. Are you all right? What do you think? Of course I'm all right. I'm more all right than anyone else in this crowd. Just because Lord Abley insists on women to deliver the tributes, don't mean you have to send your youngest and prettiest. Fools. I'm just a shepherd's daughter. I have no business here. What do you think you're doing? Get back in line before the sheriff sees you. I want to go home. Oi, you there. Yes, I meant you're coming with me. What? Leave her. Take me instead. Hmm. Well, whatever. You'll walk to the other side of the yard and talk to Walter. He'll get you settled. And don't you dare stray from the path. The boy used to fight for Stephen, but as far as I know, he ran out of coin. Now he's just a good-for-nothing playing watchman for those monks in Kingsbridge. And the Lady Aliena? Don't make me laugh. I think you underestimate her. Some years back, I heard she almost cut up a priest in Winchester, put a knife to his throat, and robbed him dry. Oh, she's a fury. And you're a sissy. May I interrupt? What is it? How can you fight for someone like William Hamley? My father was nothing like that tyrant. 
Oh, dear Lord, it's you. You always sat in your neat little keep playing hostess to his well-off guests, while the poor snuffed it just as they do now. Well, at least William treats us as his equals, and not like pawns on a board of nine men's Morris. Was my father really that bad? Your mother could have answered that question. He once told me that she was very unhappy when she died. And you never wondered why? I'm looking for Lady Elizabeth Hamley. She's caring for Lady Regan inside the keep. But only Lord William and Walter are allowed to go there. And they'll kill you if they find you there. So you won't help me? We've already helped you more than enough by not ratting you out. My father was a good Earl. Keep on telling yourself that. But that's not our story. Many knights fighting for him were former outlaws who had nowhere to go anymore. Your father may have given us food and shelter, but it was no better than what you'd give to livestock. Don't tell anyone that you saw me. We won't, if you promise to leave now. Are you done yet? Almost. Let me just see if I took enough. What's taking so long? Uh, I, I forgot the pork. I'll be out shortly. Wait a moment, then follow me. We don't have much time. You will look for me any moment now. So why did you come? I'm waiting! King Stephen has declared a truce with Empress Maud. William's tyranny is over. This land might finally see peace again. That's why I'm here, to talk to his mother. But if we can't agree upon terms, I'm afraid we will have to take Earl's Castle by force. There's an army of outlaws hiding in the woods waiting for my signal. Will people die? Yes, people will die. That's why you have to come with me. I... I can't. Not without Lady Regan. You need to save Lady Regan first. Why do you care about Regan Hamley? Oi! You still in there? She and Walter have been the only kind souls here. Walter? William's dog? Don't call him that. He's not as bad as people say he is. <sighs> William won't allow me to talk to him anymore. Now Lady Regan is all I have left. Please, you have to promise that she'll be safe. I can try, but I can't promise. I won't leave until I know she's safe. I'm sorry. Hurry up in there! Or do you want me to come in and pull you out? I need to go.
Elizabeth claims you aren't such a bad person after all. Am I not? Have you forgotten that I killed your family steward? You got problems over there, Walter? I would be a better ruler than my father. I know my father wasn't always a good and just person. He killed, just as William does. But I would fight to be better. I would listen to the needs of this land's people. What are you saying? Have a heart. So, you think I'm a nice bloke? And you think this is enough to convince me that you'd be a better ruler than anyone who came before you? Don't make me laugh. Shoo! What? If you help me, we might be able to prevent a bloodbath. Let us end this in peace. I don't believe you. But it's not up to me to judge these things. I'll take you to Lady Hamley. She'll decide. <sighs> My lady? Elizabeth. Could you get me some water, dear? Yes, my lady. But first, I need you to wake up, my lady. There is someone who wants to see you. It's the Lady Aliena. The Lady Aliena? When did that bitch become nobility again? I'm sorry for intruding, but this is very important. Important? As if anything you have to say could be of any importance to me. I'm certain you've heard about the treaty the King made with Duke Henry at Wallingford Castle. I have. I have also heard that it's a muddled mess. It is a complicated deal indeed, but one that will end the war. And one that makes my family the rightful owners of this earldom once more. Only by word. There's no one who would come to enforce this, not even the king. Don't you see what your son is doing to the land? Soon there won't be an earldom left to rule for anyone. That's a lie. My William is a better earl than your father ever was. To think that I once wanted to marry my good William into a family like yours. Not a day goes by when I am not glad that God saved us from that horrible fate. And that he sent that monk to Bishop Waleran to unveil your father's evil plan. What monk? That prior of Kingsbridge. Philip of Gwyneth. What? Please, my lady. You need to hear her out. Oh, my dear Elizabeth, don't you see what she is trying to do to us? Are you saying that Prior Philip told the bishop about my father? Yes. He came to see Waleran in person, a messenger of God's great plan. And we've been in control ever since. I promised your son's wife that I'd make certain you'd be safe. Safe from what? From a pack of impotent monks? My lady. The Lady Aliena came here to make things better. She has only ever made things worse. She mocked my son for wanting to marry her. She had every right to deny him. What? How can you say that? He is your husband. He's good to you. If it wasn't for Walter, I'm sure William would have killed me already. I have an army outside the gates, ready to attack. What? It's up to you if this ends in a bloodbath or not. 
Oh! It's all up to you. In the name of the true Earl of Shiring, make them suffer! They're coming. Mother? Mother? We're being attacked. What's going on here? What's that bitch doing here? She's trying to bargain. She's trying to take everything. Is she? Is she now? Leave it. Shut up, old man. <gasps> Cut that whore up, Walter! No. You brought this on yourself. You... you bloody traitor! Someone get up here! Men! You will pay. You will all pay for this. William Hamley is dead. What now? Now we tell his men. Stop! Stop fighting! Drop your weapons immediately! Behold the banner of the new Earl of Shiring! Everyone, listen! Lord Hamley is dead! The castle now belongs to the former Earl's family again. What? You're shitting us! It was the King's wish! Who killed him? He died because he refused to hand over Earl's castle peacefully. It's time that he is succeeded by a just and true leader. He knew that the king was about to take the earldom away from him. To avoid punishment, he took his own life. My name is Lady Aliena of Shiring. I'm the daughter of Bartholomew, the former earl of these lands. I've been tasked to end the tyranny of William Hamley and restore order to Shiring. Our occupation of Shiring has been made unlawful. Every attack on us is sanctioned by the King of the English! So what will happen to us, then? I shall tell the King that William Hamley forced you to do his bidding. That every atrocity done to the people of Shiring was his doing and his alone. What? These bastards need to be hanged! Yes, hang them! Hang them! You will get your chance for redemption by helping the people of Shiring recover from your own cruelty and by rebuilding their homes and tending to their fields. Ali, I know that you're a much better leader than I. Without you, we would never have come this far. You never hesitated with swearing and fulfilling the oath to father. In the end, I will be the Earl in name only, but you shall be the true ruler of Shiring.
Don't say that. We'll do it together. Let's discuss this later. I owe you a lot, Ali. The tyranny of William Hamley is over! The earldom of Shiring belongs to its rightful heir. Send a messenger to Kingsbridge to let Prior Philip know that Shiring is finally free! <laughs> <laughs> what is it? Why are they laughing? You can send a messenger if you want, but there won't be much of a Prior left when he arrives. <laughs> <laughs> Ali, what's going on? 